The Allied resistance against Dong's wall crumbles before his might, and the various leaders flee back to their respective territories. However, there is a disturbing report that one such leader has made off with the Imperial Seal. The thief is none other than the tiger Jiang Dong, Sun Jian. Making his ambition to rule clear to all, Sun Jian would set his sights on attacking Dong Zhuo once more. Dong Zhuo, determined to hunt down the tiger of Jiang Dong, again leads his troops into the battlefield, with Lu Bu by his side. Alright, so this is the act where it's only one of the three, in this case the campaign against Sun Jian. And the next act will be the campaign against Cao Cao, and the campaign against Liu Bei. But um, I'll find out in the next part if I can actually skip one of those two stages. Hopefully that will be the case, because uh, that's one less battle I'll have to worry about. But anyway, uh, let's just worry about this stage now. So here we go. And uh, I'm going to swap out the Dong Zhuo, just because I want to get his weapon at max. So I'm pretty sure I didn't show off the... Uh, actually, you know what? I think I did. Uh, but I'll show off the third one, just to play it safe. Alright, the equipment, uh, the weapon, and yes I did. We have a fear at level 8. We should be able to max it out. We'll see. The items. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll leave it as is. The bodyguards are at 8. The objectives. We have to defeat Sun Jian, and we can't allow either myself, well, myself, that's it. Uh, we can't allow myself to fall, or the time running out. The unit info. For Dong Zhuo's forces, you have Dong Zhuo, which is me, and Li Ru, Lu Bu, Zhang Liao, Yao Chan, Hua Xiang, Li Jue, and Guo Se. For Sun Jian's forces, you have Sun Jian, Zhu Huan, and Xu Shang, Sun Chuan, Lu Meng, and Ling Tang, Zhou Tai, and Jian Xin. I mean, we just played this stage, like, not even uh, two parts ago, so. Anyway, let's do it. I think the only real difference is. Sun Chuan not being in this stage. I think that would be if we're playing this in the uh, Yellow Turban Musa mode. But um, I know, if not that, definitely the uh, uh, Lu Bu's Musa mode. But anyway, enough of that. Let's uh, just move on and take care of this. So, what we're going to do here is pretty much the same thing I did just like two parts ago. So, we'll go for Ling Tong first, then we'll aim for. Uh, Jian Xin then defeat the two officers. The only difference here is this is not the final stage, so it should be a lot easier to complete. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy as hell, I'm just saying it should be a lot easier in comparison. Alright, Ling Tong is down. Now we'll head over and defeat uh, Jian Xin. Then you know the rest. Yeah, that was not happening. Now I'll aim for Zhou Tai. Um, whether or not he challenges me to a duel, that's one thing. Um, but like I said before, I'm not really worried about anything really in this stage. Just for the fact that unlike the last uh, campaign against Sun Jian stage we played, uh, this is the second stage, well, third stage technically, if you are playing, uh, well, if you played the Battle of Shui Gate. Well, it's in Act 2, so it should be easy still. Um, like I said, only real. Well, I haven't said it, but I'll say it here. The only real stage I'm concerned about is the final stage. As you all know, that's the um, 
Blue Boost will vault. So. I mean, I don't think I have nothing really to worry about because uh, I do have items pretty much maxed out, the ones I really want to use anyway. Alright, Zhoutai is definitely not challenging me to a duel here, so I'll definitely uh, take full advantage of that and defeat him here. Alright, Zhoutai is down. Sometimes that really pisses me off. I mean, that's just more frustrating than anything. A cutscene occurs, and you're right in the middle of a Musu attack. But maybe that's my doing, too, to an extent. So I'm not going to really be that upset about it. But still, it's just more frustrating. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we're going to go around and defeat Lu Meng. Unless, for some odd reason, Sun Chuan challenges me to a duel. But, um, yeah, since I'm playing as Dong Zhu, I don't have to worry about uh, the command to die because I am the commander. So, I can really take my time all the way through. And, uh, yeah, now we're challenging Lu Meng. Might as well because, uh, he should be easier. I'm not saying he's going to be easy, I'm just going to say he's going to be easier in comparison to, uh, the last time that we played the stage. That was fucking close. Holy shit. And I, I pretty much nearly jinxed it too. You know, I should just keep my mouth shut. Like, that fire charge attack could have really killed me, if anything. But, um, yeah, I know, I got really fucking lucky there. Anyway, let's aim for Sun Chuan and defeat him. Oh shit. Fuck it. Might as well, right? At least if I defeat him here. If I do. <laughs> um, because I have a hard time for some reason facing Sun Chuan. I don't know what it is. Shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. Where did that come from? Another fucking Musu attack? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright. Fortunately, my Musu Gauge was at max, so I know if you were to counter me, I should have been fine. The only one scare that I would have had, if anything, would have been him using another Musu attack on me. They like using Musu attacks a lot during duels. Alright, hopefully that'll be the only... Well, hopefully that'll be the last duel. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Uh... Oh, I took the wrong fucking horse, didn't I? You know what, I'm just gonna grab this horse. Go inside. I'll head around the other way because there's no supply captain that I need to grab. Um, so as you know, once you enter her Fey Castle, I call it her Fey Castle because it is her Fey. For some reason, it says, uh, "What castle did it say before?" Um, Jean Ye, but I can I I, con I consider her Fey. Um, 
because technically uh, Jianye, if you're going through the stage select, uh, selection free mode, it's technically under uh, the Wu territory. So anyway, um, once Sun Jian reappears, you have to deal with Sun Se, Sun Shang Xiang, and her officer Pan Zhang, and Gan Ning and his officer Zhu Zhe. So these are only three that are left when it comes to generals, and we still have to deal with Sun Jian's officers as well. So we're gonna go for Sun Se. No duel, so that works. Um, but I'm gonna take my time going all the way around because um, I do need to kill time, and I'm pretty sure I'll hit the 20 minute mark. Um, well, I'm pretty sure I'll go around and face Sun Jian before I even hit that 20 minute mark, um, based on the pace that I'm going. Alright, so Sun Tzu is down. Let me see here. Yeah, I have, uh, I only completed all this so far in 7 minutes. So, I really should take my time going all the way around. Defeating every troop that I could find. And then, uh, Head back. So, you know, I'll defeat the troops here first, even though I really don't think it's fully necessary. I should be good over here. So now I'm gonna head up, uh, grab the uh, dim sum, then defeat Gan Ning and Zhu Zhe, then go from there. Cause uh, I definitely need to drop Sun Jian's morale. Um, even though I'm the commander, I still don't want to lose generals because uh, if he wipes out a general or two, his morale will be at max, and uh, dropping his morale after that is not gonna be a fun time. So, I'd rather have his morale down to 4 or 3 than 8, obviously. I mean, self-explanatory, right? Anyway, um, I don't think he's going to challenge me to a duel. Nope. I already got 2 in, so usually after the second one, even if you win both, I don't think they'll challenge you again. I mean, there are certain stages where it will happen, like... Uh, the Dong Zhuo live stage under uh, the Shu forces. And obviously there's certain events where they'll automatically challenge you to a duel. Like Lu Bu the Battle of Lu Lao Gate and Guan Yu the Battle of Guan Du. Or Guan Yu after he mounts the red hair at the Battle of Xia Pi. So. Alright. There we go. I can't hear the bells anymore. So there is a uh, unique item in the stage. I don't know what it is, but I'm definitely going to grab it. Or not. Huh, that's weird. Typically that gate would open. Unless it's different in this stage. Oh, maybe I have to actually... Hmm. You know what, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, that gate would usually open. Ganning's defeated. I guess maybe I have to defeat both. I mean, I could have sworn once you defeat one, that gate will open. Anyway, let's just drop Sun Jian's morale down. Give me. 
and they'll probably defeat that supply captain. I think he, they already did. That was fast. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Oh wow, I did. All right, Shu Chong is down. And I believe Sun Chiang's morale is down to five. Yep, five. So hopefully, when I defeat Shu Chong, uh, Shu Chong, um, Zhu Huan. His morale will drop down to four for sure, maybe three. But uh, anyway, I think we should be good though. Um, and how much time have I wasted? Okay, we still need eight more minutes. I don't want to milk it too much though. Well, let's defeat the guard captain next. Because if you're inside the castle, you have to defeat the gate cap uh, guard captain. But if you're outside, in order for you to open the gate, you just have to defeat that respective officer. In this case, uh, Zhu Huan on this side. I mean, you already seen it, so. Zhu Huan is down. So, soon Jiang's morale is down to four. I want to see if I can drop it down to three. There we go. It would be nice if I could actually drop it down to two. Then, uh, we'll be good. I really don't have to worry about anything. So I'm just going to worry about KOs for now. Uh, the only real way for me to kill time is get more KOs, and I don't know why that major was blocking out like a fucking fortress. grab this. There we go. I'm going to pass Sun Zhang Xiang, then defeat all the troops, then uh, aim for her afterwards. Unless she challenges me to a duel. Nah, she didn't, so no more duels for this part anyway. Um, yeah, we'll go for Panjong now. There you go. Maybe if I were to try to go for that item, I, would, I should aim for Sun Shang Xiang first. But, um, it's fine, though. Like I said, I think the only item that I really need to go for is the, uh, uh what is it? The, uh, hex mark. And that will be, um, well, apparently that gate's opened. Um, well, I'll say the hex mark is under the, uh, yellow turban boost mode, so... That's not going to be for a while, and hopefully, I mean, I'm going to have to go for ending number, uh, I'm probably going to have to play one of the stages I need to play, uh, second, first, so, I really only have two shots at it, otherwise, I'm probably going to have to do it, like, for a separate part, um, but I really don't want to do that either, so, Anyway, um, we'll go for Sun Shang Xiang next, and then uh, I still have four more minutes, 
I I really need to kill some more time. Um, I'll probably defeat the troops up by uh, the south section of her fed castle. Soon Chang Xiong is down. So the only one that's left is Soon Jian. I can still, still. There you go. So I'm pretty sure that other gate just opened over there. Um, as I said before. Um, you would have to hear it, and uh, I actually heard it this time, which was, uh, oh yeah, that's right, because last time I heard that, uh, oh, that gate open, I was actually fighting troops, so I could very hear it, and very, uh, vaguely hear it, I should say. Anyway, um, and that's the thing that doesn't make any sense, is that that gate opens, and they don't give you any type of notification that it opened. You're just gonna have to hear it, and, uh, it's that one gate by Gan Ning. So, if you're trying to go for that item, um, then you might want to go and defeat Gan Ning last, and uh, aim for Sun Shang Xiang first. Between the two anyway, because obviously if you defeat Gan Ning last tech on a technical note, then you have to defeat Sun Jian for Gan Ning, and, well, you already know the rest anyway. Uh, yeah. Let's just defeat these troops then. Um, I really don't want to kill any more time if I don't have to, but I think I, I'm going to have to. I mean, as you can see, that's the gate right there. But, um,. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can really say about that. Uh, I mean, I still need to kill two minutes, and I really don't want to just stand there and do nothing for two minutes. Uh, but, um, looks like I have no option on that one, so I'm gonna stay right here. And uh, I will be right back.
Yeah, so I will resume in three, two, and one. Alright, I'm back, and uh, that had to be the quickest time kill I've ever done so far. Or well, one of them anyway. So all I have left now is soon John, so let's go and defeat him and end the stage. Nothing more I can really say. Alright, one more of those combos will finish him off, but you know what, I'm just going to do that. And that's a, another win. Alright, well, that's a win, but still. Anyway, so that took us uh, over 20 minutes, as you know. Um, I would have loved to got my KO count a lot higher, but that's fine. I'm okay with 370 something. <laughs> what was it? Uh, I'll find out in a sec. I doubt I got anything good. Uh, 377. Uh, that's fine. Our Clear time is two, uh, 20 minutes and thir uh, 37. Wow. I'm seeing it, but it's just not coming out. It, I, I'm, it, yeah, I, I'm speechless. Anyway, so uh, we completed the stage in 20 minutes and 37 seconds. There we go. Um, our worthy opponent count is 13. We defeated everybody in the stage. And we have a good 5,490 points. There we go. Um... That'll be enough to get the rank four, and I think that's it. Maybe rank three. Um, maybe. No, not even close. I don't know why I was thinking that. Anyway, uh, the weapon experience. We have a total of seven thousand one hundred nineteen points. So we maxed out Dung's World's weapon, and that's every weapon now that we maxed out. I'll even go back to the screen to show you right now. That way you know that I've maxed out every weapon. But um, I'll do that in a bit. The uh, bodyguards, as you know, will save. And uh, you know what? I can't even sign off here. But uh, anyway, we'll just uh, go back. That way I can actually show you. So, yeah. Every weapon now is at level 9. So, once I'm done with the endings, hopefully I'll have all my characters' stats at max too. But, uh, I'll definitely be getting the level 10 weapons because I don't have to worry about maxing out the weapons anymore because they're all already at level 9. I did most of them off camera. Um, but the ones that you saw, that's what you saw, but the rest that I didn't get, at least you saw what the, uh, class 3 weapon looked like. So my goal really was to have at least shown off every character's weapon from class 1 to class 2 to class 3, which pretty much meant have every character's weapon on screen, showing it to go up to level 7, at least. If I maxed it out, then that was fine, but... The goal is to be at least level 7 for every character, which I did. So, anyway. So, with that being said, uh, I'll, I guess I'll sign out here. So, I'll sign off here. So, uh, in the next part, hopefully I'll be playing only one stage. If not, that's fine. But, uh, you've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in that next part. Where we'll go through Act 3. And, uh... It's either going to be a campaign against Lube, the campaign against South South, or both. So, with that being said, peace out.